Welcome, everybody. Hope you're all feeling fine. Hope the sound settings are all right. And let's get started with tonight's stream. Oh, I was looking forward to this so much. Rogue Book is finally among us. So, let's see. I don't know if my sound settings are applicable. I didn't really find the time to configure things properly. So, here we are, starting out on a new run. So, which character do I want to pick this time? I want to go one Don't more time with Cypher. Very well. Let's try that. And let's see what I will unlock here. I'm really at the beginning of my career, so there's not really too much that we missed so far. Faria Wells, they give me more energy per turn. Can't unlock more of those, but that's okay. Hide an additional heart in each chapter. Well, that sounds quite decent. It's that unlock an additional talent tier. Oh, yes, please. I want that. Mmm. Okay, replacements. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Alright, we'll way to the boss and let's go exploring. <laughs> oh, first cards Grim Siphon, attack 420, or heal 420. Battle Brother. Add Shara's power to this ally's spirit, okay. Mm, or the AoE one. Yeah, let's take the nuke. Nukes are always a good thing to have. Okay. So, we get attacked for 10. Okay, let's defend that. And Shara deals more damage when she's up front. Let's try and take down the squishy dude first. Okay, we can't burst that guy away. Goodbye. See you soon. That's why I like nukes. So many games this week. Yeah, I know, Hjorn. It's amazing. I mean, I haven't... Uh, I have seen Ropebook coming, but neither Spellcaster University nor Wildermyth, so... It's just been a, an awesome lot of new games coming out here. So, and lunge. There we go. Mm. Let's defend that and counter attack. The real special system in this game is that you get cards for each character in your party. Like the red cards are Cypher's cards and the white cards are Shara's cards, so... In this way you have a dynamic uh, interaction between these two and it really plays awesome. This is uh, seriously, surprisingly good. I mean, I knew that when Richard Garfield was on the package that something big might be coming, but this is really fun. Okay, we have some gold and Imperial ink. Okay. 
Let's use that stuff out here. So, Lava Shield. Whenever an enemy attacks the equipped hero, they take 3 damage. Mecha Magnet. At the end of each turn, retain a random card. Fun, but not necessarily what I want. Flame Blast. Oh yeah, summons. Let's do that. Because Cypher is actually a pretty decent minion master. What do we uncover here? Oh, scroll. I don't know that one yet. So, I want that shield though. Hmm. How do we do this now? Probably like this. We're going to use the Imperial Ink like that. Hey, Razul! Hi there! Very personal. Leakies, thank you for the subscription. So nice of you. And welcome. Alright, so now we have our ways and means to travel into both directions. Here we go. Oh, the fairy are well. We should hang on to this. Gain plus one energy on my first turn. Gathering more orbs upgrades this one. Okay, nice. A new Vault of Wisdom. Quick Strike. Meat Shield. You may sacrifice an ally to gain an additional 10 block. Hmm. I want the Quick Strike though. Shara is pretty good in that uh, department. Let's pick up that fight here. Okay. 15 damage in turn 1. But... We should be able to take down one of those damage dealers. Let's go for an absorb soul. No, I want the I want to summon the devil here. So the ally system in this game is pretty cool. Here go my minions. This is a brute. He's aggressive, that means he's going to attack for his spirit rating. The five here is the spirit rating. There are also different uh, minions that work differently. Please stop showing me beautiful games, my wallet can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, well, I know that feeling, Leaky. I know that feeling. It's been pretty awesome lately. Oh, this guy is stealthed, so I can't attack him. This was quite a crazy month so far. And we're not done yet. Like, next week there's finally the release of Industry of the early version, early access of Industries of Titan. That's a title I was waiting for quite some uh, time now too. So it doesn't stop here. We have new stuff next week there. Since I have found your channel, I'm buying kinds. <laughs> I'm a bad influence. Oh, come on, you. Ah, he's going to die because my minion is going to take him down. There we go. And defend. Gotcha. So, he's tripped. My first card costs one more. Okay. So, uh... Well... Then let's just block, I guess. Well, it's a little boring, but can't change it. Have the same problem, Fjorn? Oh, man. Me too, if it's any uh, consolation for you guys. So, Absorb Soul. If this thing kills, Cypher is going to get healed. So we're going to do a lunge into a Absorb Soul. Cypher also gains rage whenever he gets wounded. And when he's fully enraged, he can cast enhanced versions of his spells. It's pretty cool, too. Hi, Pop! Nice to see you. And happy that you made it. So, we're going to uncover this. I especially love that uh, exploration system. This is so vibrant and so fun at the same time. I really enjoy that. So we're going to use the uh, Precision Ink. Precision Ink allows me to click three specific tiles. And we're going to do it like that. Unfortunately, it's time to sleep. All right. Yo, Leaky, I thank you for dropping by. And please keep in mind, every stream is going to, up to be uploaded to the tube. So at the end of the day, you can always rely on these things to be watchable. 
Is this the new game that Garfield was involved in? Yes, Wiggly, that is. It's... it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, this game took so many aspects of the standard card battler games and just enhanced on that. I have... when we look at the kind of the deck management that looks a lot like Hearthstone to me, at the same time I ha I see a lot of elements that I know from Slay the Spire, and it's, it's quite a roller coaster. I mean, I'm positively surprised, and it's it's pretty day it's pretty hard to get uh, as well. So I really got uh, beaten up quite hard while, uh, during my first attempts when I was playing there. I especially like that the exploration part of the game is so chill. You don't have to worry about rushing around making one-time decisions like uh, especially Slay the Spire had a lot of these elements where you had to walk that one path and there's no turning back, no backtracking and uh, you loved Slay the Spire? Yes. I, I, I loved Slay the Spire too. I don't want to uh, talk bad about Slay the Spire here. It was uh, one of my favorite games in that genre. So I want to I want to burst that guy down while we're at it. I know I had I wasted a lot of overkill damage here. But I want to take this guy down this turn if possible. Before he goes into attack mode. So that's 12 damage. Another 15, and the rest is being done by the brutes. Bye bye, buddy. Is that it? Okay, quick takedown is good in my book. <laughs> so, the art style is wonderful. I really like how this game looks, not gonna lie. And the combat is really cool. It has the same team combat aspects that I loved about Griftlands, but it takes it to a completely new level because the interactions feel way more synergistic. I'm really surprised about all this. Didn't imagine it to be that good, honestly. I expected a somewhat good game, but... Walt of Wisdom. Rage. Attack for 8. Gain rage equal to the damage dealt. Ooh, neat. Gain 2 courage. Oh, courage is giving me energy at the start of the turn. It's also pretty good. Wolf free blocks. I want the rage. Oh, we have our next talent tier unlocked. So, the more cards in my deck, I can for every 18, when I hit 18 cards, I can select new perks here, and I can only select one of them. So what do we have here? Shara begins her play uh, battles with four daggers. Daggers are mini attacks, and they stack. So four daggers will only take the spot of one card in my deck, in my hand. Greed. Gain 15 more gold per battle. The shop charges less gold. Well, these are quite similar. I want to work with the daggers for once. I haven't had a chance to try them out before. So, narrative. The adventurers stumble over the abandoned remnants of an exploratory expedition. Upon approaching, they begin having visions of a place lost to time. The ancient city of Thyria. The rogue book must be playing some whimsical trick on them. But soon they realize they have some control over what is happening, much like that of a lucid dream. While exploring this otherworldly place, they discover several points of interest. So, raise a sky tower. Create a visible treasure on a random tile. Visible alchemist. Visit the armory. Gain a Thurian shield. When the equipped hero blocks, increase the amount gained by one. Hmm. Enhances all blocks. I want the treasure. So, Vantaros enter a vast marble chamber that stretches as far as the eye can see. On display along the walls are thousands of treasures, artifacts, and other curiosities. This must be a museum of some kind. Some of these items appear to be very, very old. As old as it's all to the city as the city is to them. Shara reaches out to touch one. Okay. So we have to explore there. Okay. So what did we find there? 
Oh, it doesn't get shown like this. Too bad. Nadim's purse. Items at Nadim's shop cost one less for each card in my deck. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have that, so. There we go. Thank you. So I think it's a good time to take down the elite enemy and before the boss. Elite enemies are really... So far, they were horrible fights. Let's see. Voice of Hunger. Hungry. When a creature dies, this enemy consumes them, gaining full power and skipping their next turn. Okay. So basically, I should only kill stuff if this guy wants to attack. Otherwise, it is not smart to kill his dudes. So, Shara's special trait is that she's gaining extra power when she's leading. That's why these daggers are so cool. That's basically 20 damage for free at the beginning of a fight. So... I call that a good beginning. So, we're going to raise a defense here. And now we still have three attacks open, so... Rage and two strikes. Solid first turn. Alright, the lava shield is doing the job. Okay, so this thing is now going to attack. We're going to... well... Let's do a lunge attack. Oh, wait a sec. Only eight. Why are these weakened? Aura of Weakness. Ah. Okay. I see. Well... Then... Oh yeah, ten is enough here to take down this little boy here. So, now he's stunned. And... We can't keep attacking the boss. I'm going to accept the 6 damage here. Alright, so this guy wants to attack one more time. So, strike. And let's follow up into a Grim Siphon here. Okay. We should be able to burst that thing down this turn now. So, quick strike and absorb soul. Well, it's only 2 HP, but it's better than nothing. Yes! Hmm, what do we have here? Archer's Emerald can apply ranged. Costs less energy when played from the back. Okay. So, gemstones can be applied to cards. And let's just put that uh, one on the Grim Siphon. So whenever we get Cypher into the back slot, he can cast that spell for only one energy. This should be definitely useful. Absorbing the soul of an evil boss monster. No, well, I, I think Cypher is way beyond uh, things going bad. He's entirely on a new level for that in that department. He's a class for himself. Okay. Let's see, what can we get here? Entrench. Costs less energy when played from the front. Okay. 10 block for 1 energy. I don't like that one. Flame Spitter attacks all enemies. Yes, please, more minions. Perhaps. Alchemist transforms a card into a powerful new card. Wasn't that the plot of Diablo 2? <laughs> Uh, Diablo 2, good times. So, let's transform away one of those basic strikes. We won't be missing that one. So, now we get to craft a new card. Flame Blast. Attack for 15, that's definitely just an upgrade. Flame Lick. With card draw included. And this works like we can select one card and one enhancement here. 
So when you play this, add a copy to your hand with no gems. Discard a card at random, reduce this card's cost by one. Well... I'm going to go for the focused prism on the flame blast. I like that. This works. Okay. Now, this is going to be our last brush, but actually I'm going to use the noble ink here. Okay. There's one more elite boss fi elite fight here. And well, let's uncover a little bit here. Oh, it's a horde. I got so many free attacks at the beginning of a fight. It's quite fun. So, the extra energy in turn one is also a nice addition to this whole setup. So, there we go. Why are they here again? Oh. We just have to take down this one and the summons will disappear. Okay. This is wasting my time. This one was easy. So found myself some precision ink. Well, let's wizard Nadim. No, we're going to go for the boss fight here. Oh no, the Queen's Assassin. This is such an annoying enemy. Alright. So, Flame Spitter, yes please. Okay, there we go. And, well... Let's put that thing up like that. We are going to discard Absorb Soul. Because I'm definitely not up to that. And, well... Let's defend. And we will take down the, these two guys with the Flame Spitter. There we go. So, the uh, Assassin is applying a Bleed of 5. In this game, Bleed doesn't go away. <laughs> it stays. And now we have 5 damage per turn, per se. Can't, can't change that. So, let's put Cypher in front of that. And I don't want to block here. I want to shred this uh, enemy down as quick as possible because the longer this fight goes, the more damage Shara will take. Oh, I also tried to fix the problem with the um, sound on the bits. The bits should make sounds again now. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can keep Cypher enraged, or if he uh, loses that at the end of the fight. Ooh, yeah, gain four block. I like that one. The pages are the currency to upgrade to buy these uh, permanent um, upgrades. <laughs> Thanks, Wiggly. But somehow I didn't hear anything. Why? When I test that widget, it works. Or did you guys uh, hear anything? So, doesn't uh, is the sound you didn't hear anything? Okay, that's odd. When I tested, let's see. This is very very strange. I need to check out what's uh, wrong. Uh, what's wrong there? Okay, thank you for the cheer, though, Wiggly. <laughs> I'll get to the bottom of that problem. So, gaining block. 
Do I want to have that on the summon spells? I mean, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh well, let's do this. Very well. It's a waste not to use these gemstones after all. Streamlabs just hates you. No, I think Streamlabs just hates us all. Don't take it too personal. So we got more stacks of the precision ink here. And let's take one of those healing orbs and get into the boss fight. I really don't know, uh, Pop. I think it's something isn't really isn't properly connected. That's all. It's going to be some silly explanation. All right, it's going to be the deep wood stalker. This one is really annoying. Whenever the turn ends, the leading hero will get his power reduced by one for the remainder of the battle. And this reduces your the damage of your skills. Summon two broods, and I think that's how to uh, win this fight pretty good. The allies are not going to get touched, while this enemy debuffs Cypher and Shara. It doesn't do anything against the damage of the allies, at least that's the plan for me. So we're going to use another Flame Spitter here, send Shara into defense, and pop some daggers onto that thing. Oh my god, Wiggly! Pop, thank you! <laughs> It's not the amount. It's, uh... <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh... There's a, uh... There's something not co correctly connected. Yeah, yeah. But good thing that you guys uh, tried that out. That's the kind of, uh... Passion that I can use. So, we don't have any defensive cards. The good news, well, we have one. The good news is, at the end of this fight, we're going to get reset completely, so... I'm not going to waste my time here with blocking. We're going to go full on on that thing. Even if it is a lot of damage to Cypher. Okay, so Grim Siphon is now a ranged attack, so we're going to lunge forward, reduce the cost of this one, and well, 24 damage is quite a lot. Well, going to put him in front though, because he has the damage reflection. Good thing that my minions do 14 damage per turn. Oh, he's angry now. So, Grim Siphon does heal him in this form, which is pretty awesome because now we send Shara up front, proc a heal, and send him up front again with a defense. Bang. I love this. There's a lot of stuff in this game going on which makes it really feel very fluid. There we go. Take that. that one tasted good. So first we find a vial of rejuvenation. There we go. It also clears all wounds. Wounds are generated when people die. Oh, I forgot to shop. No! I wanted to visit Nadim before I go. A treasure, Ogre Cleaver. Whenever the equipped hero deals 20 damage in a single hit, inflict bleed. Oh my god. Start of each battle, inflict critical hit on each enemy. Critical hits are double damage. Croc's Crown. The first time each turn the equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more, draw two cards. I want that ore cleaver. Cypher is pretty good at dealing, at dishing out big hits. So, so we can here either take cards or a upgrade. Crystallized Theria. Whenever you draw this, reduce its cost by one. Holy moly! This is cool. This is pretty cool. Let's take that. Because, if I remember correctly, 
Yeah, well, Grim Siphon already has a slot, so... I will need a new card for that, but we'll find that. Pretty sure that we will find a new nuke for Cypher. So, next map. Game's going to be a lot harder from here. But at least I was managing the elite enemies a lot better than the first time. Try not to eat anything. Leave me alone, whelp. Gain maximum rage at the end of your turn. Ooh, fancy. There's another Grim Siphon and another Cast Devil. But I'm going to buy that Grim Siphon card. And let's see. Start each battle with 8 block. Your deck is considered to be far, 4 cards larger regarding talents. Whenever the equipped hero plays a card that costs 2 or more, gain block. Well, shuffle this into your deck after playing it. This card's attack deals plus 5 damage. Oh yeah, I'm going to apply the Mighty Ruby onto my cast demon thingy. And let's see, attack for 3, inflict bleed. Both heroes gain 2 power until the end of my turn. Bleed. Bleed is really nasty. So, this is a version that has two slots? Hmm. I didn't know that this was a thing. So, whenever I draw this, I reduce its costs. That's so good. This works. And the cast Devil? Well, Suitable. this is a really upgraded card now. Okay, let's go. So I don't have the money to visit the Vault of Wisdom here. Gauntlet of Might. The equipped hero has power. Golden Yak. When I obtain this, I gain gold. Well, let's go for... Let's go for that one. Let's use the Precision Ink. Oh, come on, you. Blocked out by treasures. Or... Oh no, I can't walk over those. Okay. Learned something. Oh, the, tr the Tide Lord. He can't lose more than one life at a time. Which means... Well, stuff like the daggers is awesome. Nukes like Cypher's skills are entirely useless here. 24 damage. My god, that's so much. <laughs> well, let's try our luck with a Flame Blast. So, well, it's not really helping. I'm going to discard one of those Grim Siphons. It's not really important. Lesser rate will help. This will at least increase the amount of damage. Well, one point of rage is better than nothing. And I also like to have Cypher up front. Well, if we keep going like that, this guy is going to be at least dead at the, at the beginning of the next turn. And the Enraged Cypher for me. That's also not bad. Oh. Well, whatever. I'm going to heal him up like that. Welcome back, Pop. So, common ink. Three tiles in a straight line. Time to duel. Give an aggressive ally plus four spirit. Summon a brute. Mm. Both arrows gain power equal to mentor's spirit. Oh boy. Let's go for the promo though. I really like that this game also has some minion master elements or mechanics that allow you to play a minion master. Love that. What is that? Fugoro the Thief. He stole my cleaver! This nasty little munchkin. Okay, the pacing seems really well balanced so far. Lots of upgrades and items, yeah. 
One misstep and the heroes have slipped through some sort of tear in the pages of the rogue book itself. Upon opening their eyes, they find themselves in an otherworldly place. Before them, an immense yet fluffy creature stands proudly. It's the largest yak they have ever seen, an enormous gem full of rainbows shining brightly on its chest. So, rest below the mother of yaks. Reach for the rainbow gem. Heal both heroes for seven life. To solve. Oh yeah, I, I want the gem. That's really good. Uh, oh, we we have to fight for that one. Well, okay. Whoops. Why am I not too surprised? Oh my god, 125 HP. Elite War Yaks. At the end of each turn, give all Yaks 8 block and 4 power. <laughs> Uncool. I tells ya. Okay, we're going to take down these things first. Oh. I should have paid more attention. <laughs> this thing dissolved my hand. My entire friggin' hand. These cards don't come back until the end of the fight. Thank you, Pop. <laughs> I just messed my up myself up so hard. <laughs> it's kinda like a worst case scenario. And he's intending to summon more enemies. This fight is horrible. <laughs> I love it when games do stuff like that. I don't mind li dying like that and losing like that. Seriously not. I, I find that personally quite hilarious. Maybe we can do it though. Let's not give up uh, that easily. But these these things have all that trade. I mean, what the heck should I do after they dissolve my entire deck? And they get empowered by that thing. So I think the realistic way of killing this enemy is by nuking the hell out of their boss. Because you have no way of surviving that and destroying the underlings whenever you feel like you can. <laughs> Maybe in a bit of trouble? I'm dead as hell. I'm so dead. <laughs> well, okay. So much for that run. <laughs> okay. But games like these are meant to be enjoyed like that. So we leveled up Cypher. We unlocked Flesh Weave. Heal. Mm, with a Zolve. Okay. Alright. Let's do that again, shall we? I really enjoy that this game messes you hard up if you're uh, unaware of the problems or side effects. I mean, there was no mention whatsoever if I, if I didn't uh, really overlook something. I didn't see any warning or any, hey, this thing is going to attack you if you're going to do that. I don't know. Didn't notice anything like that. So, Do you need a hand? let's take Sorocco. Locked and loaded. <laughs> and a temporary alliance. Let's put this up like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, only four pages. Hmm. An extra heart in each chapter, why not? Chirocco is a tanky character, which relies quite heavily on teamwork. Yes, you always go with two characters. Brother, you're all bad. 
Crocs Dinner. Ally. When this is destroyed, heal Cypher equal to this ally's spirit. You may sacrifice then this. Oh, yeah. Attack the leading enemy for 15. Gain block. Hmm, well. I like those minions a lot, not gonna lie. Him sails quill. Whenever you consume an ink, reveal one at extra adjacent tile at random. Garudan's Talon. Whenever you take dam when you ever you damage more than one enemy with a single card, draw a card. Cost oh, that's pretty powerful too. But I'd say the quill is very, very desirable from the scratch. So let's take the fights on the path and then explore. These are harmless yaks. P instant PTSD. Alright. Let's rack up some guards. Oh, that wasn't good. Uh, Sirocco should be always the leading person to get two free block. I mean, it's, it's only two block, and if you over exceed the block, it doesn't matter at all, but you know. Sometimes it does really make quite a difference. Yeah, we're at a new game here, Cerno. It's Rogue Book. And I gotta say, I enjoy myself a lot here. So we're going to... Well, let's go for an absorb life into defense. A little bit of damage is really not uh, important for Cypher at all. So there we go. Easy. This is wasting my time. Okay. What do we have here? Explosive pigment. Oh yeah. This is fun. Sometimes you get uh, items like this explosive pigment, which um, enhance the uh, brush. The art style is cool, oh yeah. I really, really like that too. Interesting. I do like that this game is not being released as an early access, but as a complete product so far. This is a really nice change of uh, things here. Fire breath. Attack all enemies for 15. Yes, 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 yes. Since we get an item which... Yeah. Which rewards AoE attacks. I want to have that. Well, I don't want to use a brush here. So you like... Do you like... Well, it's uh, the story is like we're trapped inside a book, and with ink we're uh, drawing, we're redrawing the pages, and uh, we're basically forming the world around us or discovering the world around us. So, well, oh yeah, this is a good moment for the fire breath. Let's put him up front. He blocks 10 of 12, that's okay. So, he's tripped, so the next, the first card he's playing this turn will be more costly for him. I want to take out this dude, because he's like uh, the most damage of this turn. Auto block will give us 2, so this is only 3 damage. I don't care about 3 damage. Okay. The ally will do the rest. There we go. What's next? Oh, another explosive pigment. Wonderful. That's just what we needed. A healing item. A gemstone. 
focused prison. Okay. And another sky tower. One page. Well, if we do it like that, we discover as much as possible. Okay. What kind of card do we get here? Triton Lyricist. Ally, Spiritless, add a headbang to your hand at the start of your turn. Well, no thanks. Think twice. Oh yeah. Combo cards get reduced by their costs if a he another hero played a thing. Played something before. Let's do that. This is... Uh, Shiroko is focused around these cards a lot. I'm going to delay the elite fight for a while. No, this game is uh, has been released as a full uh, version. I like that. Spirit Spice. Draw two cards, then put two cards on top of your deck. Okay. That's pretty pretty powerful, actually. But I want the mark. A new talent. Shiroko has plus one max life for each card in my deck. Whenever the hero swap cipher gains rage. At the start of each turn gain block. This effect ends once you shuffle your deck. Now yeah, well. off to see the okay. Good luck, Pop. I hope you're going to get your uh, vaccine shot this time for real. So well, I'm going to take the stone skin one for Shiroko. And I got a gemstone here. Hmm. Draw a card, discard a card. Well, let's go for... Let's put that onto the Think Twice card. Very well. Because this will make it even more versatile. This simply enhances what this card already did. Okay. So... Ah, it's this fight again. Fire Breath is just a one-shot for this fight. That's why I like to have strong AoEs. Is that it? Okay. Hmm. Royal Ink. So we're going to use this like that. And like that. Oh, we have... Hmm. Ah. And the quill. What's that? The leading hero suffers from an aura of weakness. Okay. So, now, since Cypher acted, think twice is a free card. Which is just awesome. We draw two cards and we get to we have to discard one. But in situations like these, I consider that as an advantage. So we have a critical hit opened. Well this is not expiring at the end of the turn, so does this get triggered by minions? Let's check that out. No, it doesn't. Bye bye, Pop! So we can now uh, put up a really big strike. But I'd say I'd rather block and be boring. Alright. Ah, good luck, Cerno, with that test. Happy to hear that it's finally the last one. 21 damage, that's quite a lot. So let's do the mark. Think twice. Only attacks. My god. Poor Shiroko, he will take quite a beating this turn. But that's okay. 
that's his job. Oh, we get to absorb his soul. Yum. This is wasting my time. Okay. I'm already playing since 50 friggin' minutes? My god. There's no consumable slots left. So we're going to use... Oh, I can discard. Well... I'm going to discard this one. Didn't pay attention properly there. So... Well, let's use that healing hard. Good. There we go. Ha! And we get a new one back right away. Clash. Attack for 7, gain block. Bold Bargainer. Discard a card, then gain 1 energy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Now that sounds like fun. Alright, extra healing item. So, well, let's take that elite fight and see what'll, what will uh, what will happen to me. Ah, oh, the voice of hunger. Okay, I remember how that one worked. So, since we had this in combo, this is uh, for free. Well, let's go for an absorb soul right away because this will... Stop the Lord of Hunger. Okay, he's chilling now. So, Bold Bargain. I like that one. And I'm going to accept that Cypher gets a attack here. Or, wait a sec, I don't need to. I can do this and that. Oh. Wonderful. Got 30 minutes as your twin is scheduled first. Okay. So let's resolve that with a fire breath attack. Oh, wait a sec. I need to swap him in front somehow. Hmm. Which I can't. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Oh, I got a, a card for free because I damaged all enemies with one card. Okay, let's summon another minion. So. Let's see, 28 damage. Let's see if I can block that. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. This uh, bold bargainer is a pretty uh, powerful thing. Let's go for it thing twice. And as we see here, card draw is so powerful. Let's discard absorb soul. Mark. And just do a regular punch. I'm not taking any second chances here. Oh, I could have played Soul, uh, Soul Devourer thingy. So, well, it's quite a lot of damage, isn't it? So, well. Actually not able to finish this guy off. That's sad. But I guess it's okay. Okay. Give me some attacks here, please. There we go. What a nasty enemy. 
So we got ourselves a block crystal. Nice. So let's enhance, think twice with that one more time. So this is a free six block card now. I like that. Okay. Holy moly, that's quite a big pack. So let's attack this guy who's dealing 10 damage first. Let's discard one of the strikes. Oh no. Well, okay. Not so cool. We're taking quite a lot of damage this turn, but... Well. Kinda expected that. So, the Bold Bargainer is back, back in town. So, let's discard the Absorbed Soul. And mark that archer. Or, oh boy, there's that slinger. Oh no, I'm messing up this fight quite hard. Starting to realize that this guy should have been one of my earlier golds. Well, okay. Oh man, he tripped. They tripped him. We're still going to do that. So we get free block, and. Well, let's see. 23 damage. Can't activate that once per turn. Okay. Was just wondering how often you can do that. Okay. Oh, so much damage. Oh, this guy's stealthed. No. This whole fight is turning to out to be a much larger problem than I originally anticipated. Hi, Joe. Welcome. Nice to see you, man. He's angry now. And he's tripped. Well. Let's take down that guy. Trigger, think twice. Thought this was Hearthstone for a second. See? I said it. It looks like Hearthstone. It looks partially like Hearthstone. I already uh, mentioned that a couple of minutes before. Let's take that. This is a wild mixture of all manner of games out of that genre. Imperial Ink, okay. I'm going to discard that one charge of Precision Ink here. Okay, there's one more Elite fight. I want to have that. How am I doing this evening? Ah, oh, well, it was a way too hot day. I'm a little bit fried in the brain due to that, but beyond that I'm really feeling awesome. There's been so many great games lately, and we're not going to stop here. Next week we're going to have Industries of Titan finally to go into Early Access, that's one title I have on my wishlist since quite some time, and this is very Spellcaster personal. University is a lot of fun, and thank you Joe, well, <laughs> 111, or is it? And welcome back to the subscribers, Cerno. Three months now. Or? No. Can't see it here. Okay, 11 damage and the Queen's Assassin. Well, this is such an annoying fight, to be honest. Let's mark the archer and grab some block. Loads going on then, yeah. It's around the E3, uh, and, well, I, I somehow understand that the gaming companies try to have as much coverage on the topic now as possible, because 
you know? People have now an eye out for games in general during this time. I can't understand that. So, let's discard that dude, that card. Okay, here we go. No, not at all. Not at all. The sleep is still the same problem. We kind of like try to get him into bed now at 8 p.m. as kind of a middle field. Let's see how that'll work out. But we still have a lot of uh, problems with that one. It's like he's denying the fact that he has to sleep and he's getting really, really angry about the fact that he has to sleep and well, I, I literally got no clue what we what we could do about that, but since every person I know of learned to sleep at some point, I'm confident that he will too. Alright. Poor guy, bleeding for 5 HP every every single turn. Now she wants to do that thing again to us. They can't really change that from happening. I have no more attacks on my hand. So, well... Shiroko is pretty roughed up at this point. But that's okay. So what do we have here? A gem of growth, a ally gains spirit. Oh yeah, I like that. And a new brush. So can I put that onto Croc's dinner? Yeah, this guy has no sick spirit. Hey, the hustler. Disciples, I never played Disciples, but it's good that you mentioned that. Because that was yet another very popular title that has resemblances here. I'm all a. Uh, what's the objective? Escape from the book we're trapped in. Well, I was playing Heroes of Might and Magic when Disciples was hot. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's quite old, but. Well. The problem with old games is, for me, even if I never played them, it's pretty hard to get into them once they are old, you know. Dark Temper, attack for 12. Whenever you add a card to your deck, this gains to What? Alright, I need that. I need that. Same was Diablo 2. Acquired Taste, yeah, well. I'm kind of sad that I missed uh, Disciples. A lot of people, uh, a waste of time. Fine. I'll take a lot of people shit. said a lot of good things about that one. So what do we have here? Prayer beads. Whenever you end your turn with no cards in hand, oh well, that doesn't happen too often for me. Sturdy shell. Whenever the equipped hero takes damage, gain block. At the start of each battle, add a random card of the equipped hero to your hand. It costs zero. This battle. Okay. Swords of the Fallen, Gain Energy, Spinning Blade, Cast Devil. I like that one. Mortars, attack a random enemy for three. Repeat for each card you've played this turn. Okay. Let's uh let's let's buy that cast demon thing. And let's go for Magdas fan. I'm going to pick one for a cipher. Find older games are better depth content wise. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the graphical user interfaces weren't that polished back in the day. And you really notice that nowadays, sadly. So, well, let's see. I've still got a few last thing splotches of ink. Well, do we find anything here? Well, a pile of gold. That's at least sub one thing, because that means I can open up that world. So, spinning blade. 
Give a hero three power. Gain 16 block. Well, talent tier has unlocked. Oh yeah. Once per battle, click on Shiraco to gain 15 block and move him to front. At the end of each turn, Cypher is gaining 5 rage if he's leading. And at the start of turn 5, the heroes gain power. I want the quick reflexes one for Shiraco. I like that. So, let's pop the healing item and see what we'll, what we'll be facing here. This time I at least didn't forget the merchant. It's again the giant spider, man. So, let's do this one more time. So, like I explained the last time, this guy is decreasing the physical power of the characters facing it. So, every turn the facing hero decreases his power by one. Which means, the longer you stay in front of that thing, the weaker you grow. So I'm going to well, do like that. I'm not going to bother blocking here because at the end of the boss fight, these two will be healed up anyways. So it's not that much of a bother right now. 24 damage. Well, let's pop the thing twice to get six um, to get six block in. But beyond that. Well, I want the Bold Bargainer, because it's just so cool. Strike, yeah, well, we're going to discard that one and get a free block. Good stuff. He's angry now. Okay. So, what's that Croc's dinner when this is destroyed? Heal Cypher equal to Ally Spirit. This thing has 11 now. Attack for 13 twice. Attack for 18, summon two brutes. I want more summons because I feel like summons are way to go in this encounter. Since they are not in getting uh, debuffed by the cocoon. So we're going to put up yet another one of those. I wonder what's the maximum. But as you see here, we're dealing quite a substantial amount of damage by now. Okay, now... All the punches. And since we haven't used it in this fight, I'm just going to rack up the, the unclick block. There we go. Oh, can we kill it finally? So let's put Cypher in front, but let's put him in back afterwards again. Well, or do we? Well, no, actually not. He's getting enraged by that anyway, so it's not going to kill him. And now we're going to kill the spider for good. There we go. Fire breath. So we get healed after that one, like I said. A treasure steam engine. The first time you discard a card each turn, draw a card. Oh my god, this is powerful. Each turn, the first time you dissolve a card, gain energy. Wow. I want that. So what do we have here? Perfect diamond, gain block. Buckle up, gain block. Decrease the cost of a random card to zero. Flame Stoker. Ally has additional spirit equal to your draw pile size. Okay. Let's do this. I like minions. Okay. Let's hope I'm not going to screw myself up with the uh, Rainbow Yak one more time. 
The Ogre Cleaver is here too. Flash Weave. So we unlock that one. Attack the leading enemy for 15 gain block. Another Flame Stoker. Well, I want the Devil Strike. I feel like this is a nice card. Do we have here crumbling mask until your deck is shuffled the first time gain one energy per turn okay yak ptsd yeah you name it so entrenched doesn't cost me anything here anymore this guy is going to punch me for 15. Okay, 24 damage this time. Can't do, really do much about that one too. Let's put up yet another minion here. And rack up at least 8 block. Ow. What an annoying enemy, not gonna lie. So, I'm going to go for the Cast Devil into a Bold Bargainer. Let's discard that. Oh yeah, Flame Stoker. This Frock is tougher, tougher than he first looked, yeah. He's basically 12 hits to, ta to be taken down. So, think twice. And now when we discard a card, I draw a card. Isn't it awesome? So let's go for one strike. Bold Bargainer and Absorb Soul to heal when we take him down like that. Bang. That's how we roll. Okay, let's see what we can there. Yeah, the finisher is pretty cool on him. Stand behind me, sucker punch. Play only if he's leading 16 damage to the leading enemy. Wow. Bullfrog Berserker. It's costing 5 energy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's take the stand behind me. The interesting part about this one is that you actually have to enhance your deck somehow to be able to play that guy at all. Strongman. Each turn, the first time you play a card that costs two or more, gain one. Whenever Cypher becomes enraged, draw a card and gain energy. Gain one energy and draw a card at the start of each battle. That's it's better than it sounds. That's one of those beautiful omnipotent uh, buffs, which just are so substantial. Okay, let's use the precision ink and see what kind of ink I will uncover here from that fight. Because every fight has always some ink for you. Ro Rekhoen Cannoneer, okay. Hate, gain maximum rage at the end of your turn. Like that. So think twice. Oh yeah, we got the uh, the Dark Tempest here. Oh, Dark Temper it is called. So this is now at 20 damage. Nice. Well... Let's go for a spinning blade and a mark at the end of the turn to make sure that next turn I get an opportunity to double the damage of a powerful attack like this Devil Strike. Well, no, it's actually not that powerful. Let's 
Well, honestly, it's not that impressive at all. Luckily, you don't have to use his rage. It just stays there until you're ready. Yeah, let's do that. Charging and summon two brutes. That's what I want to see. Let's go for the Bold Bargainer. I like that card so much. Being able to transform unwanted cards into energy is just so powerful. So let's see if we're going to be able to take down that guy this turn. So 10 damage comes via allies. No, no chance. No chance whatsoever. Oh, 18 damage. Okay, we're going to suffer now. 40 damage is a lot. No, we're taking it down. Mm, good thing that I didn't block. Wow. That came in really handy. Stardust pigment. Okay. Oh, it's that cool one. So we're going to do it like that. No, not the thief again. What did he steal this time? Alright. Let's see. So. Oh, I get a new treasure for this. Whenever this hero plays an ally, gain plus one power. <laughs> Very well. Like that. So, rock out, add a headbang to your hand. Gain block equal to twice the number of headbangs. Well, no. Actually, I'm going to skip out on that one because it doesn't uh, go into a direction that I want to have honestly. So these guys lose power whenever they get damaged, so... Hex! Oh yeah. Ha! <laughs> no damage at all. No damage left. Oh, I could have summoned Grey Croc's dinner. Totally forgot about that. Was that supposed to hurt? Well, let's go for one defense and two defense. So we're going to discard that one. All right. This is going to hurt a bit, but... So the power reduction is not triggering on, on minions. That's unfair. Whenever this takes damage, lose power. It's not exactly how this works. Or, well, maybe I didn't pay attention and it did lose power there. Hmm. I was looking at the wrong spot check out if it worked or not. Yeah, it did work out. The allies do that. Character and enemy design looks really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a part about the game which made me... which I was very pleasantly surprised about real quickly. There's just... yeah, what can I say? It's very polished. And it's a lot of fun to play, not gonna lie. Especially since it gives me that feeling that I actually have to learn how it works. So, deal 20 damage in a single hit. No. Sounds like Cypher's cup of tea. Alright, we get another heal. But let's take a standard fight. Standard fights are always pretty good too. Yakapult. Okay. 
So, Flame Stoker. Cast the Devil. And. Oh, yeah, we get the Dark Temper. Bam! Bleed. I like that bleed doesn't uh, get reduced in this game like in so many other games. Where bleed is just something that has to be reapplied constantly. I like that one. Oh, Gold Bargainer. So let's go for a thing twice. And we're going to discard the strike and get yet another new card. 18 damage. Well, let's just uh, gather enough. Oh, that wasn't enough. Well, let's do it like that. Oh, 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 I did a miscalculation there. That Flame Stoker is pretty cool. Okay. So, let's try Buckle up here. Well. And done. Trying out the sandbox mode of Spellcaster University. You just got the shot, hooray, Pop! You finally don't need to leave early because you have to get a a, a uh, vaccine vaccine shot. Huzzah! So absorb soul deals 19 damage. Yeah, this will work. We're just going to amp up this one and then use the Bold Bargainer and then we can do 20 damage at once. Take that. Winning in one turn like that is beautiful. Okay. In a straight line. going to need a second dose in like two or three weeks yeah it's the same over here with this we haven't had our vaccination yet at all so happy that you got were earlier than us spinning blade let's do that flame spitter and attack the leading enemy for free we'll always do think twice Congrats, Pop. Hope you feel right. Yeah, I, I wish you that too, Pop. A lot of people have quite nasty side effects. I hope you're going to be not one of those. So, still three energy left. So, let's use the Bold Bargainer. 19 block came together. Well. Let's mark the, uh, one of these guys. Okay. Just five damage. Well, you're young, you hopefully want to be bad, yeah. And let's do devil casting thing. And at least one small defense. If we can't do more than that. But Cypher has so many ways of healing himself up. There we go. This is wasting my time. So, well, four in a f straight line, three in a straight line. I won't be profiting from that. Oh, yeah, the fairy, oh well. Well, okay. Okay. 
What a waste, but whatever. Impact, Sucker Punch or Frenzy. I want that Sucker Punch. It's quite a lot of damage for a low amount of mana. Or energy. So there's another healing orb. Okay. Until my deck is shuffled for the first time, I gain more energy. That's pretty powerful, actually. So, Bloodfire Mask. The first time the equipped hero takes damage, each battle draw a card and gain energy. Gain block equal to the total cost of cards discarded at the end of your turn. Equipped hero has plus one power. Okay. Unstable Concoction. Dissolve every card you play this turn. Okay. Whirlwind. I want to try out the Divine Code. Okay. Since I'm pretty much out of everything, we're going to try the next uh, elite fight there. Lava Surge Axolotl. Whenever this gains spirit, gain five times as much. Wow. Didn't know he streams. <laughs> it must be actually seven days a week at this point. When we started out with that uh, announcement, I was still doing five days a week, but... Rapala. Okay. Battle Rager. Whenever any hero takes damage, you gain one achievement. Fancy. Okay. Nice uh, first turn. Yeah, I do try to stream daily as of yet. Or right now, however you want to put it. So, cast the devil, draw some cards. Devil strike, gaining some blocks on top of that. I like that. Yeah, well, it's been a while that I didn't stream for a day, actually. 20 damage. Oh, he's angry now. Okay, we got the necessary block. Okay. Attack all enemies for 19. Well. I'm not interested in that one. This is too weak. Flame Stoker. Okay. Well, that didn't really work out. Why does why did my shield break like that? All right, dark temper that. Wonderful. Bronze Boomerang. Shuffle this into your deck after playing it. Oh. 
I see. Let's do this for the buckle up. I like this one. Alright, we can take yet another fight. Just putting the phone media sound thing to my ear to... <laughs> Spawn of Istanu. Delicate. Whenever the heroes play a card, take six damage. Wait a sec. Ah, these things take damage. Okay. Still no real block racked up for us. Well, 20 damage. Sponsors are starting to be chunky. Yeah, that's true. Pierce. Any unblocked damage will damage both heroes. Yikes. And Sucker Punch. Chunky Funky Meat. Okay. That's enough. Okay, we win. New ink. Three in a straight line. Well, didn't really help me, didn't it? Would have needed to come from below. Dang. Okay, let's go for the boss fight then. My first time on the chapter 2 boss, so. Cap 10. Reflect 2 damage back to attackers. Oh gosh. So, buckle up. Defend. Okay, that's at least something. We can block that. Okay. Multi attacks are bad. Well, I already anticipated this much. Okay. Now. Let's do as much damage as possible. Need to do big hits. Yeah, well, you need to have block at all times because when you when you have blocks, he can't hurt you with that. Twenty four damage. My goodness. Well, at least we have part of that blocked. Ah, he had weakness, so that's why it was so low. As so much damage. Well. Fire Breath would have been the better choice, I think. Yeah, that's true, Joe. The the more damage per hit, the better. Like, uh, small multi-attacks are really bad in that regard. Okay. Well... At 
At least I can deal some more damage to that guy. And if somebody dies at the end of the fight, it's not that not that much of a problem. Generally, if somebody dies in this game, it's it's annoying, yes, but it's not really the end. Why did I exactly just uh, draw lots of new cards for no reason whatsoever? Scrambling beam. Whenever the heroes play card, discard and redraw their hand. Oh, that's why. Mega Claw. Gain power. Okay. Well, we're going to... block all of it. Since I have minions doing damage... So, I'm going to defend once. And now, let's keep using these attacks. Ah, charged barrier. So this effect is not always online. Cage launcher. Reduce the leading hero's power by three. Let's see. Okay. Got this bad boy marked. Oh, think twice. Wonderful. There we go. Lots and lots of minions going crazy on that guy. We're going to win it. Oh, he's angry now. Ah, choose an ally to replace. I see. Hey, welcome, Pop. Glad you can hear me now. And now I'm going to leave, sadly. Because I'm too friggin' tired to continue at this point. Just wanted to see if I can beat that boss. At the start of each battle, inflict critical hit on each enemy. Each ally gains one spirit. The start of each battle add Kalim's prayers. Face Stone. After you play this, return it to the top of your deck at the end of your turn. Oh my god. Dragon Fire. Attack for 8. When you defeat a boss or elite battle, this gains plus 5 attack permanently. Attack for 4. When Cypher becomes enraged, and add this to your hand. Okay. Okay, friends, so good night, everybody. It's been a blast, and we're going to see each other tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream. I have a feeling that it might be some Spellcaster University, but let's check it out. So thanks for all your cool support today, and good night, you all. <laughs> thanks for the cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>